Right, well, first of all, Happy New Year, and I hope you all had a good Christmas. Um, I spent a lot of my time having a good Christmas rather than painting, but I have been finishing off various things. Um, this little set here, I'm still working on the the, uh, the horses and the limbers, but I have finished the actual guns and artillery men, so this is what I've got up to. Let me just zoom in a little bit. Um, had a lot of fun doing these. Very nice figures to paint, an excellent set, so as you can probably see I've added in a few little extra accessories, a few buckets and things like that, so yeah. I'll of course um, update you when I've done the limbers. So there we are with the Russian foot artillery, where I've got to so far. Now to go with the Russian artillery, and I will be getting some more Russian units from time to time. I've got a couple of units of cavalry to do actually, some hussars and some uhlans. So I'll be getting on with those shortly. Um, these are the guys from the Russian and Austrian command set. The Italeri um, box. Really nice to do. Uh, lots of detail on them. I like the, the green colour. It's a nice change doing uh, different colours. I know I've said that before, but it does uh, break up sometimes the monotony of the painting. Really nice. Did enjoy doing these. Just give them a twirl. like the fact you get one guy um, standing in front. Did toy with the idea of putting some extra stuff on there. Maybe I will. I've got a load of um, spare cannon barrel so I might plonk one of those on there as well just for a bit of effect maybe a broken gun carriage perhaps so yeah really nice set that so there you go so that's that one now I've had this box for quite a while, maybe about four years I think, so I finally got around to doing these because I fancied a change. So this is the Hat Bavarian, uh, I've got my thumb over it haven't I, the Bavarian Artillery, four cannons you get in there and each crew has got six figures which is, which is great, I like doing the sets with six figures because um, it gives you a bit of variety and it just generally looks better. Um, so yeah, just finished these and I'll show you how I got on with them now. So here they are, the Bavarian artillery set. Four guns, six figures in each unit. And if you see at the back there, I've got a, quite a large barrel. I bought a few of those at um, Salute, so I shall be using a few of those in future because they make quite a nice addition. Um, I do like buying the extra furniture for doing these sets, particularly the artillery because they just seem to require it so why not? I like the colours, the funny smurf hats. The officers are nice little figures to paint if I can just zoom in on this guy here, there you go. So yeah. And yeah. Now these guys who are the ventsmen or the guys light in the guns don't come with a um, thing for lighting it. <laughs> torch. We'll call it a torch. So I've had to stick a bit of paintbrush uh, not fibre, you know, bits, bits of paintbrush anyway. I could have cut one of the strands with a paintbrush and just glued it to each of these guys. So that's how I got round that issue. And it's so thin it probably won't come out on this 
video and if I zoom you probably won't see it either but rest assured they are using those so there you go so yeah there's another two Bavarian sets that have do two sets of infantry so I may be buying those at some point it seems to me I'm inadvertently going through all the 25 millimeter 172 scale Napoleonic plastic sets that there are if they're worth doing so I'm getting there okay so that's the Bavarians oh, I'll just turn some round hang on and there's a call from from the rear view the guns are a bit basic really I mean they're, they're passable but <clears throat> there's a lot better gun sets around but these are the ones that come with them so I've done them the recommended palish blue so what I did there was use the, the standard aquamarine blue and then did a very thin Prussian blue wash over them just to pick out the, the detail okay so <clears throat> I bought a couple of boxes of these which is a recent addition to the hat series of Napoleonic French Command so um, I've completed the first set which are these guys so let me just zoom in so you get the, um, the mounted officer who's a nice little figure typical hat figure though um, nice to get an mounted officer so he's a colonel and I'm going to be adding these into my existing um, French units which are mainly Italieri and they don't usually come with a command set or not a very good one anyway so these should be replacing the command sets for those in fact I've had to add in a Italieri guy this guy here on the end because he got six figures one of which is mounted and I need seven so because I had quite a lot of those spare and they'd be going into a Talleri set so I thought why not add him in there so he's a little slightly taller than the existing drummer but what the hell like the sapper figure get a guy with the port aigle you get a choice of headgear as well so a very versatile set very nice and I'm just starting on the second batch of those today but I thought I'd show you these because this is the first one that I've finished okay there you go that's that lot now I bought this at um, Selweg this year and I think I paid about five quid for it and didn't bother looking inside because I already bought a box of these and I thought yeah 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 it's the standard four guns and six crewmen for each so I didn't didn't bother um, looking inside that. I opened it last, up last night and discovered there's three complete sets in there so rather than four guns there's um, twelve so <laughs> result you know four quid for twelve Prussian guns is not bad value at all so I've made a start on those and since I'd already done one set of Prussian artillery um, that'll mean I've got 16 guns altogether so I really do not need to buy any more for my Prussian artillery that will do me very nicely so that's what I'm up to next I'm doing them in batches of six because otherwise I won't have any room on my bench so that's what I'm doing now so yeah bit of re result that nice one so okay thanks for watching I notice I've had a, a few more new people um, subscribing so that's much appreciated I'll try and increase my output of, of um, videos but you know at Christmas you've got other things to concern you with um, family and basically having a, a nice time which I, I definitely did so see you all around and thanks for watching take care bye bye